Hello. Welcome to another root showcase stream of Polaris, a root made by Slover Giggle. It is available on the download station. We already played through the first six sessions of this previously. And now we're going to play the seventh session. Uh, but first, let's make sure that everybody's here because Eagle, Slover Eagle, the creator of this route, is supposed to be in chat. So let's see about that. Ah, oh, there he is. Hello. And hello, Kanga Fango, as well. <laughs> hello, everybody. Right, so. Uh, how is everybody? H how is everybody? This this close to the end of the year, which for some reason is in the middle of winter, not at the beginning of spring where it belongs. Uh, right. Okay, so while you're busy answering that, I'll read the description and let it load in. So this is the seventh session. The KOIDs, by the way, will be in the description of the archive on YouTube. Here we go. I was right. Well, that, that's good to start with. <laughs> Some work needs to be done around the lumber mill. Let's see what it is. Right, so this is 8th of September, 1970. And in the previous session, we got some uh, new train cars and brought them over to there. I've got the, the description here of the previous one. One ship has arrived today to Northport. It carries logging equipment for a new log yard, but I suspect we will firstly have to do something about the lumber mill. Yes. Right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm very good, thanks. One hour, 20 minutes, hard. One chip. <laughs> yes. One chip? What do potato chippings have to do with this? I'll bust through, hello! It has been a long time since I've last read your messages. A really very long time. How have you been? I've been really busy. Also, Slurberg Eagle, the convoy did go well. There was quite a bit of sliding every once in a while, but yeah. Yes, Kango uh, demolished ten signs. Yes, we kept count. Uh, too long, <laughs> yes. So it's just loading. Only ten, yep. So, Eagle, you are one hour ahead of of the UK, time zone-wise, correct? <laughs> Less than I expected as well. Given the previous snow experiences we've had. Let's wait for everything to pop in. Two hours till midnight. Two hours till midnight? Wait. Oh, yes, it's two hours for you, of course. Wait. No. Hold on. If it's two hours for you till midnight, then you're two hours ahead of us. Interesting. I thought it was only one hour difference. Oh, no. Of course, that makes sense. Never mind. It's, it makes perfect sense. I got confused by it. It does make sense. It's, it's, it's one hour difference. So that means that um, when the stream is over, well, depending on how long we actually end up taking for this, it might already be the new year. So let's get going and please let me know if the game audio is too loud or too quiet. Here we go. Okay, it has been a few hours. <laughs> it's been a few months, I'd say. Nanovik is an amazing town, but I have to go back to Chicote. Chilcote. Uh, you there! Are you Thomas? Shouts somebody from the station building as you begin to cross the tracks. Yeah, that's me. 
Why? You have a telegram from Francis. He writes that you have to return to Chilcote Chilcote with the boxcars and to bring the lock cars from Walrus Bay as well. Further instructions at Chilcote. Oh? May I see the transcript? Sure, here it is. As he hands you the transcript. Thank you. You are the station master here? Yeah, the last one. My name is Marcus. You should hurry now. Don't let Francis wait. Well, I hope he's not Marcus the Unfortunate. Uh, nice to meet you. And thank you. Have a nice day. Well, it's evening, but sure. You too. Aw, Marcus is such a kind man. Uh, going to be doing some work, so we'll be kind of kirking. <laughs> it's okay. Kirk all you want, Albuster. Kirk all you want. Um... I mean, you can Picard as well if you like, but Kirking's fine. Uh, you too. Ah, here we go. Wait, are we still paused? I think we might still be paused. Please wait for all the scenery objects in the background to load before closing this message. On low NPCs, this can take up to a few minutes. Please be patient. Uh, yes, good. Saving the session may break its functionality. It is recommended to finish it in one go. Good. I think everything's already loaded that I can see anyway. So, here we are. Okay, where are we on the map? Down here, and we need to go probably, yeah, down th to this place somewhere. So, let me know about the game audio, please. Decouple that. There we go. Can't hear it. Hold on. Are you certain? One second, is it turned down? Nope, it's not turned down here. Oh, why is it at the bottom? Sorry. It's because on, on my computer, I'm used to it being in the second slot, not the bottom slot. There we go, now you should be able to hear it. So, let's get started. Also, let me quickly turn off the debug features in case they're on. Uh, yes, they are. Working like a gem, good. Good, good. Oh, we can go 40 in the yard. That's interesting. Greyhound, mm hmm. I'm assuming that should prob probably be 15 or something like that. Are the switches aligned? Yes. I've been looking forward for I've been looking forward to this. It's been a while since I've seen you driving. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yes. Oh, I need to go all the way into the tunnel to turn around. Sorry. Ah, well, let me just go in. All MVR and spreadsheet. Ah, uh, right. With, with, with this session, it actually might look better without shadows. Although, yeah, it depends on how, what, the, what quality the shadows would be turned to. All MVR and spreadsheets. <laughs> true, true. Okay, and I'll turn around the train. So now, this is forward. No, hold on, why isn't that forward? I thought I turned around the train. Oh, it's because I'm in the interior, and in this version of trains, if you enter the interior of a locomotive, it automatically rota rota orients it rotates the train, the orientation of it, like which way is forward and backward, to align with how the locom where the locomotive is. 
So, hmm. I'm sure I'll be doing some more driving on Monday soon, minecarts. <laughs> well, we'll see if we get to it. I have lots of plans for Minecraft. Lots and lots of them. They include auto crafters, quarries, excavators, railways, of course, and uh, world spikes. Oh, 20 is the speed limit. Good. Imagine SD40 2 with two cabs. That would be interesting. You going to make a nice sign? Could do a. Uh, equal equal O oh, equal equal shape thing. Um, what do you mean? A nice sign for what? The station. Oh, right. Well, we'll see how it goes. But usually, when I when I make signs like that, I usually like to put the top and bottom row something like that and then have the text in the middle two uh, rows. Also, you mentioned clock towers. Mm, let's have a look. Is that the Back to the Future one? No, it isn't. But it looks very nice. <laughs> like the spider sitting in the center of a very Christmas lighty spider web. <laughs> now, it looks very nice. And the O is the clock face? Yeah, or four letters. Hmm. Hold on, I might need to turn down the render distance a bit more. Well, when we get out of town, I might be able to turn the render distance up a little bit. Actually, similar to the one in Torquay. Hmm. But it's not. Ah, good show. Is that tower also next to the sea? I don't know. Might be. Right. Um, maybe the designs are inspired from the same thing. Hmm. I mean... Oh, I think I overshot that a little bit. Hold on. Yeah, I need to get the hang of these brakes again. So, oh, it worked. Nice. Yeah, so, I mean, with mine, I, I mean, I, with, with like, signs and stuff like that, I like to put little decorations in the corners, like little squiggles or, or stuff like that. Anyway... So, in Minecraft, if you put the little O's in the corners, and then the, hmm, <clears throat> and then the equal signs along the top, it almost looks like the O's are like maybe where it's nailed to the backboard or whatever. Not quite about five minutes away. Hmm. Just before Churchill Square up North Street. Not familiar with um, Brighton. Where North Street actually goes east west. <laughs> As does North Road, silly people. <laughs> Torquay one. Hmm. Link don't work today. Yeah, I, I'm familiar with the one in Torquay. I don't need to look at that link, probably. Considering it's just a Google Maps one. Okay, it looks like we're going to be running in reverse. Also, how's the work going, Albastru? Are you getting a lot of work done? Oh yeah, tons. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to endeavor to not derail anything this time around. Also, I have a feeling we're going to need a brake <coughs> caboose as well. I remember making this train up before, 
I remember getting this little car in the back on. That was by the crane. But, oh, travel towards Bay and come to the lockers. Oh, so apparently we are not going to get a caboose this time around. Fine by me. All good, all good. Probs just waiting for something to be printed out or something. Do you want to adopt the caboose? No, who would ever adopt an end of train car? Um, they, they, they eat up all of the money. And besides, I think that the railway's already got it covered. Although I've just realized that's not a caboose. I thought there was a caboose from the other side. It's actually a snowplow. I thought, yeah, like this, I thought it was a caboose that we need to collect, but actually no, it's a, it's a snowplow. How heavy is our train? 161 tons. Okay. Yeah, see you in snowplow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, Albuster, if you're still listening, um, about Minecraft on Friday, um, between so between Monday and last Friday, Emmy Chu did go onto the server um, on her own time and went all the way back to the jungle to get the cats uh, so that the cats would be back home safely for the stream because she knew that that would be an important thing to do. So, there you go. Oh, bless them, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go downhill here. I'm going to see how well I can do with the dynamics, if indeed I need to use them. Because this is quite a steep downhill bit, over three and a half percent. So 3.5 meters in 100. Okay, so about maybe six. Looks like it might work quite nicely. Our Emmy Chu is too kind. Mm. She, she's very kind. Okay. Ah, the grade is changing, so I can't just leave it at one setting and coast all the way down. I have to actually manage the braking. Tusk Tusk Eagle, making me manage the braking. What is this? Wait, am I going the wrong way? Uh, no, I'm not. Good. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I saw the symbol back there. Wait, am I going the wrong way? But no, it just loops back around. <laughs> right? Yeah, it loops around that way and that way and that way. Yes, good. Phew. <laughs> Elisa! Welcome! Hello! For you, it's about... Well, it's less than an hour to the new year, right? Well, for, for VGR anyway. <coughs> yeah, this car box is nice. Laz and Lazers, it is Timo's one hour and forty two minutes. Ooh. Ah, so it is for you, eleven o'clock. Ah, yes, because of the the holiday on in in Switzerland, I believe. You said.
The current time here in Switzerland is 22.20. So that's, yes, it's one hour ahead then. Same as Eagle. Also same as some other people I know. <laughs> Very snowy day for streaming today, uh, in, in, in games. Unfortunately not in real life. In, in real life it's quite wet and rainy. Uh, although not currently, I think. I think it stopped. But it was very, very rainy. There was water falling from the sky, people. Water falling from the sky! Eagle, you should have maybe laid over one of the... the uh, there's a track-only, like a rail-only spline that has the sound that I've used on the Haddonkot tramway. You could have laid that over the top of these bridge splines and have that be the thing that the, tra the, the trains go over. That way you'd have that uh, sound of it going across. Water from falling from the sky, people. Yes. Uh, you uh, rumbly sound. Mm, yes, the rumbly sound. If I knew it existed one year ago. Hmm. True. But if you ever do update it, that is one thing you might, you might want to change. Or improve, I should say. If you do ever update it. Did it exist one year ago? I honestly don't know. I could look it up but I'm driving a locomotive that is attached to a train on a, down a hill in the snow and ice, so I'm not going to do that. Mm. There was a really old track spine for bridges that had a sound. Mm. NSW something, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I know there was another one, but... Mm, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that bridge looks familiar. I wonder where I've seen that before. Hmm. Oh well. I'm sure it'll come to me. Uh, at one oh! That's where we went over just now. Ah, I knew it'd come to me. <laughs> yes, ha ha ha. Indeed. So... We've got to travel to log cars and pick up all Bay. Wait, no, switch that. We've got to pick up all Bay and go to log cars. And then we're on our way. Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a, f of a few flakes of snow. Its engine roared and it got bored and it started playing the violin with its bow. <laughs> ah, yes. Um, although we actually went through the tunnel. Ah, it's this bit. I really like this bit. With the snowbanks on the side. Eagle, I like this bit. Is that story of 4, 5, 6, 8? Mm. <laughs> That's good that you like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, this bit even got on the thumbnail for the first ever one. Actually, speaking of thumbnails... Hold on. Might as well take some screenshots while we're at it. One second. Let's just take one here. And then let's continue. Uh, 
and let's apply a little bit more dynamic. Um, <laughs> hash selfie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you clipped that. That was really funny. <laughs> oh, the water. Yeah, I forgot that I had to change the water level on the original route. Yeah, because I have not got parallaxing enabled. It's Z fighting, so that's something that I need to do for future if we do, well, when we do get back to this. Wait, since when can I go 60? I thought. Hold on. Do we have speed limits as a. No, apparently we do not. Okay. Quick, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> Haha. <laughs> ah, quick selfie. I laughed very loud on that one. <laughs> yeah, me too, as you heard. By the way, if it, while I'm playing trains, if it looks like I'm constantly looking up at something, it's because trains is up there and the camera's down there. So, that explains it. Ah, yes, thank you for posting it, Kango. <laughs> Luckily, the water thing isn't too noticeable in these lighting conditions. Ah, yes, the super elevation. That is some superb elevation. Yes. Look, that bridge looks so familiar as well. Where do we where do where where do we know that bridge from? Hmm. I wonder. Okay, where are we? Uh, okay, so we're here. We we came down there, and then we went. Through. Okay, yes. It'll probably come to me where we know it from. Same with this bridge, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, with a... with a... Uh, wires along it. Eh? Ventilation? Eh, I'm sure it'll, it'll come to you. <laughs> yes. Oh, look! It's the bridge you just went over. You saw it on the mini-map just now. Really? I had no idea. Where do, where do you mean? Uh, you mean this line? I think that's in the air for, like, an airplane or something to go over. I think I don't think that's an actual bridge there. That line there. Also, Eagle. Again, thank you for the 60 mile per hour limit on this bit. <laughs> also, I'm going to increase the render distance slightly to two kilometers. <laughs> wow, behind you, mate. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> There's a 45 coming up. I knew it would be terrible. Terrible? Nah. I mean, if you had to go crawl along here like 20 miles per hour, that would get really boring really quite quickly, I think. Because there's just no change in scenery, even though it is quite beautiful, with the ice going across. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm working on the Elisa New Year scene, but it seems that one of the characters has mysteriously lost all bone mod data, so I have to wait for the author of the model to resend me the original model. Do you not have any backups you could um, access? Adrian the Terrible, King Adrian the Fourth. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, oh, yes. So here we go. 
And we've actually got to stop back there to turn around. So I'm actually going to apply some train brakes as well. Although how far is that away? Can we see? Uh, 0.6 miles. Yeah, let's not brake too quickly though. No, even the backup lost burn mod data. Oh, that's odd. Hmm. Could it maybe be something in the app that you're using to... that gets rid of the, the, the bone mod data when you import it, instead of it actually being gone in the, in the backup model? Hello, people of Walrus Bay. Now, I believe it's a plugin that handles the ABMX data and uh, recent update. Oh, I see. Yeah, sorry, I had completely forgotten about the flickery water. Yeah, I forgot about it too. Okay, let's apply the brakes now. Let's release the brakes now. Yeah, I'm going to stop too soon. Nope, I, I managed to just not stop. Okay, I assume that I won't have to switch any switches. Yep, those are all locked. Canadian Pacific Railway, interesting. I mean, Canada does, um, uh, well, it, it, Canada is basically a, a British county, let's face it. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only half joking. Van Walrusbucht und Koppel an die Baumstammwagen begonnen. Hm, I see. I, I think that that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Although it says travel, not drive. Mr. Snipes? Wait, Mr. Snipes, are you here? I'm sure you didn't mean it. Is that why they speak French in Canada? Well, that's why they speak English in Canada as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because it is British? That nah, was a joke, Shardice. I know. Oh, right, the, the, but that, yeah, okay, I see. English, not American. <laughs> Lock hours, prepare to be coupled. Oh, that car slid in there real quick. Mm, that was neat. Yeah, I think I, I saw that as well. They sure have a lot of shops in this town. Yeah, it was raining a lot here as well. Earlier. Okay, all coupled up. Um, Simia, yeah, it's been raining the whole day. Hmm. Not sure, but not sure if when it stopped. Yeah, it's been here, but now it's not. But now it's not very nice. What do you mean? Oh, because it's spitting. Oh, eel! How did you get the this top icon up there in the inst the objective? 
Is there a, a, a field to put it in? I was unaware that you could do that. Hmm, interesting. How heavy is our train now? 283 tons, okay. It would be so nice if it also told you the length of your train in that menu. Um, probably barley, that field. Oh, will you be stopping at my local station? Um, depends. Do you live in Chilcote? Do properties on the train car. Wait and tow, yep. There does not appear to be any length indicator there. Probably say the length. Nope. Car weight, trailing weight of this train, priority. Um. Damn, so only the European cars are scripted to, the, to do this, apparently. No, typical southern. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> see. Um, Hoover Dam. <laughs> Wait, Eagle, are we near the Hoover Dam? I realize I'm speeding. Or rather, the, the Boulder Dam. Superior scripting features. Um, for those, yes. But I think that some of those old um, narrow gauge steam locomotives, the new ones from, I think, what, what was the author? Train Boy 1? Whatever. Uh, that, you, know, you know the ones I mean. Those have some great scripting, I think. 45 speed limit, going down to 20 again. Hoover? Don't you mean vacuum cleaner? I mean Boulder. Which is why it's still called Boulder City, because that town was built for the workers that were building the dam, back when it was, when it was still called Boulder Dam. After I think Boulder Gorge or whatever it is. I think that's true, but I'm not 100% certain about the, the Boulder Gorge thing, but I think that's true. No, the Hoover Dam is n near us. <gasps> oh no! Chamber 1, yes. Yes! It's Chase too. <laughs> Enter Chilcote Yard. That would be why we've got to go down to 20. Ah, look at that. Some nice football sized snowflakes. Or probably even bigger than a football. Just reminded me of Skipper in the Christmas ca caper, caper, where he said Hoover Dam and Grand Coulee Dam instead of Dam, and she'll take mushrooms instead of, well, I'll let you figure that one out. <laughs> okay. Beach ball, sure is. Say per, yes. She ta oh, shiitake, yes, I know. Oh, I thought you meant, oh right, I misread it. Paper. Oh yeah. Did you know the largest snowflake recorded was almost 30 centimeters? No, I did not. Also, nice British accent. No? Is that not true? All oh, right, I did not. All <laughs> oh, right, I see. I thought you were uh, contradicting Slover Giggle's fact. It should be true. I measured it. Mwahahaha. <laughs> be interesting if that's how you continued with that. Okay, coming up to the marker. Let us decelerate somewhat. It was as I suspected. The new update bugged. Ah. The new ultimate plot twist. Right here, right now. Dun dun dun. Twenty minutes to go, VGR.
Yes, T minus 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we're not trying to grade, so that's fine. Oh, hold on. Do I need... Do I not need to... Wait. What do I need to do? It says... Why do I need to stop here for this? It says load there, so... Is there any other train in the way, or can I just go? Apparently I can just go. Everything is set. <laughs> Good. Also, uh, Eagle, I'm slightly concerned that the instruction is load everything. I don't think the entire universe will fit into the cars, considering that they are part of it. And so you would have to load the cars into themselves. The boxcars have an endless void in the in them. Ah, so then can you So if they then imploded into themselves, they would enter the endless void and thus have loaded themselves into themselves. You're moving your your universe into a different ones. Hmm, I see. But then how would it really still be counted as being loaded in the boxcar? if the boxcar itself imploded into the Endless Void. Would the Endless Void then still be in the boxcar? If the boxcar is within the void. Oh, the light just came on. <laughs> well, I think the junction set, yeah, it's set correctly. Uh, actually, hold on. How many... So what needs to be loaded here specifically? Wait, logs unload is able to operate. But it says load everything. And it's got nothing in it. Eagle, it, the industry says it's got nothing in it and it's an unloader. And it says load everything, unless you're doing it via layers. And not actually loads. It becomes a big bang and a new universe is created. Again! <laughs> what kind of Gordon Freeman art is this? Well, I, I have no idea. Sure is, you didn't see mine. Boxcar of holding. Oh, 10 platinum pieces. All oh, right. <laughs> as far as I know, it should work out somehow. <laughs> Well, I hope so, for everyone's sake. Took one year... Look, one year ago these sessions worked. <laughs> yeah. Resonance Cascade II, Boxcar Shenanigans. I don't know m what might have, got, have gone wrong since then. Well, we'll see. So, yep. Um, no. You're meant to say that tomorrow. <laughs> uh, and I do not remember this. Ah, well, in that case... Um, did you just see that kangaroo back there? Why ever did you place that there, eagle? Kango also doesn't remember this. <laughs> also, wait, there's a red signal there. At the bottom. Uh, do I need to be concerned about that? Oh, it's the, the bumper, that's okay. So yes, I do need to be concerned about it, but I wouldn't go past it anyway. 
Okay, that works. Come on, a little bit more power. Come on, come on. There we go. Fun fact, there actually is an animated kangaroo asset. <laughs> Wasn't it an aquatic camel though? Mm, who knows? Okay, now stop. Huh. It is, so it does load. Even though it says it's empty. Maybe I'm accidentally right clicking on the wrong multiple industry because of the big hitboxes. Like maybe there's another multiple industry over here that I'm clicking on accidentally. Okay, so it looks like we've got we've got to do this in two goes. Yeah, none. That's what it's got loaded. Like what it what it's got in the industry. Uh, okay, just gonna make sure that I stop in time. Yeah, I think three is probably the maximum I can load here in one go. Um, <laughs> did you also make steamer sessions for this Slovak Eagle? Asks Kango Tango. Uh, so industry is working as intended then. Good. Just curious how. The reason it says none is because it isn't configured to produce. Hmm. No. Well, there you go. Ah, right. <laughs> Sounds like you've just had a very confusing thing made clear to you when the uh, the thing was just, did you make a Steam session for this? No. And then, ah, right. Amazing what one can do. Mm, yeah. One who can do a lot. Little hus can do big things, some might even say. Okay, now I have to deposit these on this track and then load the other ones. Pfft. <laughs> like how the T is lowercase, but the PFF is uppercase. Which incidentally, I, might, I don't think I've said this before, but the uppercase and lowercase comes from when people were uh, setting type, well, yeah, were setting type, like letters to be for, for prints. The big letters were in the upper case to pull out, the metal letters were in the upper case of, of, the, uh, yeah, of, of the, 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 the drawer. And the lower one was in the lower case, the, the small ones in the, were in the lower case to pull out. So there you go. Fun fact, you can't, you can't not whisper the t and s sounds. Hmm. Guess it depends on your definition of whispering. Okay, so those should come to a gradual stop, considering that I applied the air brakes while they were still connected. True, I guess. Hmm. I just gotta load these two. 
as well. 10 minutes, mm-hmm. Be right back. Or oh, brup. Brup to you too. Oh, you're back now. How is that going for you? Ooh, do you have anything interesting been put, uh, been put into you yet that you're carrying? Only oh, air. Ah. Uh, well, what about light and uh, other electromagnetic fields? What about that? Okay, so this should now, theoretically, confirm. Yes? Question mark? Can I load the box cars here as well? Or maybe I need to couple them back up. I didn't leave anything behind, did I? I don't think I did. Um, <laughs> well, hydrogen to a uh, bit of saliva, teeth, all that. Bus driver 3. Wait, you've got bus driver 3 put in you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize they made bus driver 2. <laughs> Saw that. Mm. Yeah, on the map, I know. Okay, well, let's see how this goes. If I couple up to these, will that work? Hmm. Oh, there's a consist up here. Have a look at that in a little while, maybe. A little while, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I wonder when you notice. Notice what do you mean? You have brakes engaged. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, when I... I pressed E to disengage them, but it was... You know how sometimes when I play ETS2 or something, it very briefly switches to the finder and then back? And that's what causes me to crash, because it resets the mouse position. Well... That just happened here. I tried to turn on the sander as well, and it didn't take. So I must have pressed E then, and it didn't disengage. <laughs> okay, so all of the log cars are now loaded, but this still says I need to load everything. So I guess I'll try to... Actually, wait a minute. Does this load logs? That might load logs. Okay, tell you what. Let's try and see if this thing will load logs. And if it doesn't, I'll see if the boxcars will. 
<laughs> yeah. Does that thing load logs? Well, that's what I'm trying. It's it's got a bit of a flatbed there. I might. Spoiler, I don't. Ah, so then I guess I'll have to load into the box cars. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Ah, good. Yeah, just hire two people, Yeti, to throw the logs into the boxcars. <laughs> that would be interesting. Also, I like that you wrote two people yeti, not two yeti people. Timing the, timing the triggering of the spectacle just right. By spectacle, do you mean fireworks? I know it's yes at name. Oh yeah, the fireworks display. I hope that it doesn't blow anyone up. Yeah, I wouldn't want you to be distracted by the stream and then accidentally blow yourself up. Oh, I'm going a bit fast here. Now what does this load? Ah, bricks on pallet. How many did that load? I think, I would, my guess would be two, yes. Eagle, at least you don't have to do very precise stops for each car, eh? Yes, and not yet. <laughs> Maybe I can get three. I think I should be able to get those three. And stop. Now let's see. This one is loaded and that one is not. So I've got to load two more. I wouldn't push it to that buffer too much. It derails happily. Mm, which, which kind of buffers are those ones? Because they look like the ones that I've used as well. And if you're going at like a one or two miles per hour, they do tend to stop the train, at least in my experience, if those are the same assets. Crane, wahaha. This time I have the element of surprise! <laughs> I can't remember, honestly. Mm. I, and I don't even know to remember in the first place. Happy New Year, VGR! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 2023 for you. We've still got two hours left, and Eagle still has one hour left. How many do you need to uncouple? I think uh, three cars in total. 
like left on the train. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Team has one hour left for me. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Wait, T minus one hour? Didn't you say Switzerland? Isn't isn't Switzerland UTC plus one? So wouldn't it be the new year for you already for one hour? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Look, Paradise, winter time and no. What do you mean? What do you mean winter time and no? What? Continental Europe is still one hour away. Hmm. For us, it's twenty-two. For Switzerland and Slovakia, it's twenty-three. For many, it's zero. So it's one hour. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know why I'm getting confused. It's because when, when VGR writes as Elisa, the year number isn't, uh, isn't 2023. So when on your stream, when when it was written that it was that sp a specific year number, I think I just saw that number, realized it's larger than 2020, and assumed that for Elise it had already switched. I think that might have been what happened. <laughs> yeah, it does make sense. 2022, I mean, you know what I mean, I mean. I'm focusing on something. Hopefully the driving. Okay, let's load. There we go, couple your consist back together. How did you know I would have to have it uncoupled? Yes, I'm very aware that the track length means that you have to have it uncoupled. <coughs> So how does it feel being in the future, being in 2023? <laughs> Funny, for you, in two years, back to the futures, futuristic future will have been 10 years ago. For VGR, I should know. Wait, no, yes, 10 years ago is right. For VGR, 
in two years' time, Back to the Future's Futuristic Future 2015 will have been ten years ago. Didn't hear the BTTF part. <laughs> I can see how that would be a bit confusing then. Yeah, 2015. Exactly. Yeah, but o October. <laughs> well, I see. That is a big difference then, isn't it? Travel to North Pole. I will endeavor to do so. Train weight, 768 tons. Let's get these 768 tons moving at about 60 miles per hour for a bit. September, October, yeah. Look, we're going to be driving into the sky back here. Do you see that? Yeah, these don't have any special sounds. Oh, I see. okay. What? Special sounds? They don't have special sounds. Some uh, train car sets have special running sounds, but these do not. The locomotive does, I think, but the, the other ones don't. Yeah, it does look a bit of like spirited away. <laughs> Though at low tide. Yes, and in winter. Oh look, the cute little Ah Look at that, the cute little bricks on the pallets there. That does remind me of transport fever, the the uh construction materials. <laughs> We, we don't really have to accelerate um, much beyond 40 because we're going to go down to 40 anyway and then down to 30. Conmat, yes. That tree is twitching quite a bit up there. Did you see that? It was a tree that was like twitching back and forth. Got the link, sorry. Link for what? What is that? I need to drive a train. Yeah, but like a few minutes ago, yes. Oh, the spirited away thing, yeah, the train. I I remember it. I wonder what Easter eggs these forests would hold. Oh, 
Oh, hello! IPHR3AK. If you're not a bot. Bear. Might be a bear. I could ask the conductor if the conductor sees a bear, but who knows? We, we, we don't have a conductor back there. Which is why we don't know how to conduct ourselves. Luckily. Okay, let's leave off the power because there's a 30 limit coming up. Spot Island. Um, bear, maybe. I don't know, the conductor hasn't said anything because we don't have one back there. I do like a good trestle. So Eagle, how's the new narrow gauge route turning out? Oh, it's coming alright. Good. Good to hear. I hope that it will actually get finished. I say that both because I know your record for trains routes, but also I know my record for trains routes. <laughs> that actually got finished, I mean. Um, right. Oh, I watched the live stream this morning, noon. It looked stunning. Progress is good. And with Trainboy 1's steamers, it'll be amazing. But we'll pause for two weeks as I will be gone. Quarter of the route is finished, and I feel good about it. Ah, that's nice. And you know my record for trains routes? Crying. Don't cry. Just finish a route. Ah yes. <laughs> I'll give you a fiver if you go 31 in a 30. Um, do you mean give me by ha by hand or or do you mean like mail or or how do you mean? Bit of both. Hmm. You'll have to tell me the details first. Hopefully I'll know how to rekindle inspiration for stuff once it fades. Hmm. I mean, depends what it is. 250 in hand, 250 via roll mail. <laughs> Ugh, with all those strikes. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, with all those strikes it's better if you come over here and give it the whole five pound to me by hand. So much for three strikes and you're out. <laughs> Get them. Five quid, mate. Um, well, apparently. Fridays actually does have a Patreon, perfectly. Yeah, I do. And if you want to, if you want to tip just one time, just a little bit, then there is also a PayPal link you can do. No, Catherine, you can't have that. <laughs> that's, that's mine, I need that. <laughs> Katira TTT would like to know your location. Oh no. Hi. <laughs> That's off. <laughs> hmm.
Yes, welcome back. <laughs> Ah, oh, ten quid for my troubles from Catherine. Okay, we've only got about, what is that, 92 miles to go, I think. So you took five and gave ten back, so Shadow is earned five quid. I mean... <laughs> that... Yeah, that... Mm -hmm, interesting. To me that sounds a bit like money laundering. <laughs> not saying it is. By the way, it, it is fictional what we're talking about here. But it sounds like it. And yes, I have seen the 40 coming up. I did not see that crossing in time. I might end up speeding a little bit here. Yeah, I'm probably gonna speed it up a little bit. Mm. Nope, actually, it didn't. It didn't notice. The game did not notice. Good. But if our bus were only intended to give the five quid Shardice, and they were nabbed mid-transit, and you give Shardice ten, would Shardice earn ten? That is a good point. Although I suppose it depends. If it's already... Hmm. No, actually, yeah, that... That does make sense, yeah. Although, I suppose I make five additional ones from the whole thing, is what is how that is, is taken. So if I have five, and then those five get taken away, then I've got negative five. Like, from my normal amount, I've lost five, and then I get ten back, then I have five additional ones. So then I've got, so then I earned five from it. Yes, I would have lost, because the ones that were intended from a bus trip to come to me, if they were taken by Catherine, then I would have lost those five. You only lost what wasn't even given to you in the first place. Well, that's still a loss. <laughs> I mean, just ask all the people who had gold on the trains back in the days of the gold rush that was robbed by bandits. I bet that they would tell you that they've lost something, even though it didn't arrive. Money, money, money must be funny. <laughs> what song ref? What what song is that? It sounds like a song reference. You just didn't gain the five. Hmm. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know it now. I was just unsure about the melody. Ah, the lovely particles down there. Kevin, you had zero quid, yeah? 
I give you 10. Now you have 10, correct? Well, I had 0, then Albuster gave me 5, you took the 5, so then from that new baseline of me having 5, I would have had negative 5, and then you gave me 10, which means that I got 5 from that. So either way, I'm happy about it. Chavez, but he didn't give you 5! He only offered, but he didn't even mail it yet. I mean, we had a verbal agreement. A verbal contract. So you neither lost nor gained 5. Catherine took Alvastra's 5 and then gave you 10. Yeah, so I got plus 10 from that, because I would have gotten 5 anyway from Alvastra. So that was already the baseline. And then I got another 10 from Catherine. Yeah, basically doubled your quits. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much for that. If only we were talking about real money. <laughs> I mean, if we were talking about real money, then we would probably get into some interesting legal situations. So maybe it's good that we're not talking about real money. didn't even sign all right before that um whoa i never signed well it was a verbal contract you can't sign a verbal contract you just agree to it and sorry <laughs> there was your fusion yes you didn't even sign the check what kind of a verbal agreement is this <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that I'm playing this with uh, Twitch chat, because even though I love this route and all the clever stuff that it does with layers, scenery-wise, a lot of it is quite samey. Which, I mean, in a frozen tundra, that is kind of what the situation is. Wait, I should have stopped back there. Oh no! I didn't... Oh yeah, we're just going back around. <laughs> oh, the Eagle, those markers, they always trick me. I always think that I've missed something and I've gone past something just because it's looping around all the time. <laughs> Yeah, it does look like that, yeah. Although now as we're heading around this curve, it now it looks more promising, I think. That's the point. <laughs> Good. 1.8 miles to go. Also, I just had a 200 IQ moment. Oh. Again? <laughs> Do elaborate. There's a 20 limit coming up there, so I should probably start breaking now. Considering we're also going downhill. Since I'm going by Romania time and it's 2047 there, and here in Switzerland it's till December 31st, I'm technically a time traveler. <laughs> yes, if you think about it in a certain way. I do think we need more braking.
Aren't we all? Yes, we are. <laughs> also, if you're at the meridian, so where the... Basically, you know how you go, if you go further and further east, you start gaining more hours in the time zone-wise. If you go all the way around to the point where the time zone... Okay, it's, I decelerated too much. If you go all the way around to the meridian where the time zone goes back over to the pre w would go over to minus well actually if you go the other way around if you go west so that you're you're taking UTC minus one minus two minus three and so forth then if you go all the way around to the meridian you would be at the point where you would then step take a step and go a day into the past technically as so you've kept going that way then you could just travel back into the past calendar wise of course people will tell you that at one point you will actually travel a day into the future at that point but uh, that's not how any of that works. Come on, we all know this. I came from the future. In the past. <laughs> yep. And do you know who we can thank for time zones? The Great Western Railway. Because of Bristol time and London time. Up in Northport, good. Bristol accents. <laughs> Ear love. <laughs> Aww. There's one way of timing things the clock tower way and the great western way. <laughs> ah, yes, and I need a break. No, not that kind of break, just slow down, please, please, thank you. Well, I've got a brand new combine harvester. Um, do you mean a real life one, like a, a, an actual large functioning one, or do you mean in a game or, or something like that? And you'll give me the key? <laughs> I will. Whoa! I've got 20 acres and you've got 43. Well, all I say is, give me 40 acres. Shadows, it's a song reference too. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, two song references then. And just in case anyone's sleep. Happy New Year, everybody! Yes, I mean the real life calendar. Meep meep. Oh, back there. Probably. Something's me beeping. Ah, not even an end message, we just finish. Great! Oh, and I got 1,100 points. I didn't lose a single point that time. <laughs> um, North, po North Pole population, visible confusion. <laughs> but it's uh, the song, yeah, warning loud. I'm not gonna listen to it at the moment. You just scare the living daylights out of. A's A Z? Sorry about that. It's a Roadrunner's it's Roadrunner's dad. Oh. Alright, oh, the meep meep, yes, I see. <laughs> meep meep. Ah uh, yeah, say. Ah yeah, say. Ah uh, that makes sense. Right, so 
Um, that was fun. I'm glad I played that. It was interesting seeing the route in a more evening setting. And yeah, I had fun. So this one is supposed to last an hour. So that one just took about an hour and a half. This one has this roughly, this, well, it's a bit less. So it's maybe an hour and 20 minutes, which I don't have. Um, I enjoyed that a lot. Yes, great work, indeed. 30 minutes of MVR dev, not sure if there's time for, for another. Um, I think I'm just going to end the stream here. Um, yeah, so that was fun. I enjoyed playing that. It was good continuing with it. I don't actually know how many sessions there are left in this. But anyway, so uh, in that case, Happy New Year for everybody, whenever that might be for you. For Slovak Eagle, it's in three hours, I think. And for Bus True, it was one. And VGR, I think, yeah, for VGR, it's already the new year. But I think for me, it's, um, what, in nine hours, I thought? Anyway. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm, the... <laughs> I'm, I'm, make, it's a joke this time. Previously, I was genuinely confused, but I'm, it's a joke this time. Um, yes. <laughs> you finished seven. Mm -hmm. That means 13 hour remaining. What? Well, bye bye. See you in 2047. <laughs> For Eagle is one hour. For me, it's only 30 minutes to go. <laughs> I'm not west of you. Ah, okay, yes. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I'm good at, um, well, at, Faking confusion. <laughs> uh, anyway. But yeah, I was actually confused previously. Anyway, good night everybody and Happy New Year Eagle in half an hour-ish. So, see you all in the new year. Bye bye. Good night. Until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye.